Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look now at using filters which are imported, which you can buy in, or plugins in particular. And uh, they're typically written for Photoshop, but Affinity Photo is very good at being able to pick them up and use them. To put them in, if you go to Edit Preferences and look for Photoshop plugins, and then you're going to say click on add and find a filter here and there you can see that you just navigate to that and tell it where it is so this case is program files dxo and nick collection so you might need to do that or i'm not sure whether now it actually will find it for you but anyway let's close that to use it you're going to go to filters plugins nick collection and here you got all the different filters you've got and these, some of these are quite complex unless you do quite a lot of things. Just to show you the interface to it, we're going to go to Viveza. And this is going to be typical of what you see. And here you've got some standard sort of stuff at the top. Some here, compare and zoom, I'll show that in a moment. And typically on the right hand side here, you have a whole bunch of sliders and controls you've got for changing things. And on the left, you've got presets, which you can scroll down through. And for example, if I click on the golden hour, you can see this has adjusted these here. That's so all it does is a collection of adjustments from here, given its name golden hour. And so you get something like this. And you can then control these by adjusting them further as you wish. At the top here, you've got some comparison. So I click on the, the top one there, I just click and hold, and I can see the original, I let go, and I get back to the adjusted one. Click on the next one, and it got this line, I can move back and forwards from before and after, and I can rotate it with that as well. And the third one, I've got the whole, the original picture and the new one. Or I can click on the rotate here, which is good when you've got portrait style pictures. Down here, zoom to fit will fit this in here. If I click on fill, it'll just sort of fill in the edges, zoom in just to fill in the edges there. It just increases a bit. Click on one to one and it zooms in a hundred percent. And if you want to scroll around by the way, hold down the space bar and drag with the mouse. Click and drag with the mouse. You can see here I've got a hand there which I can do that with and I let go. If I just tap once on the space bar it zooms back to fit again. I can also zoom in here and this will, if I click on the side there, I can go to up to three to one. That's as, as far in as it goes. If you sort of try to draw a thing here that doesn't work. So click on the space bar again, takes me out to the original. In the presets here, by the way, I can click on ones I like. So the golden arrow, if I like that, I click on the little star there. And maybe I like the blue arrow as well. And then if I look here and I click on the favourites there, it just shows me the favourites. Click again and it doesn't, it just comes back. Or I can go to recently used ones. For custom ones, I can actually set up ones myself here. So I can play around with this and do something else. And then when I say save preset, I can name it. So let's call that sheep and save that. And uh, this goes into the custom ones here. So here's the original presets we've got. Take out the favorites, see all of them. If I go to the custom one, here's ones that I've made for myself and saved. And those will be there next time you come in to use it. Over here, what you, the controls you've got here will vary very much with what you're doing. So if these are Viveza ones. Control points, we're going to talk about those in another video. And in this one, you've got some other adjustments in here, which you typically, you will click on the little down arrow there, or just click the top, and it, it fills it out there. You've got the control, click on it again, and that brings you back. On the little checkbox there, you can click on that, and that will 
adjust it so if you change that there click on that white box check and that takes off that adjustment for you anyway that's enough for now next time we'll look further at what can be done with the nick filters plugin thank you very much for watching